by the tail of the kite. The other distance that you can choose, modify to your heart's delight, <laughs> is the distance from where the bow actually crosses the spine to the nose itself. And one other distance you can choose is how far from the spine out to where the bow is met here to create this corner or this change from the nose leading edge to the uh, curved bow leading edge. That, that point could be right where it is there or if I wanted a wider nose I could draw that uh, right in here this isn't accurate, but just to give you an idea. Uh, and then the nose would come all the way out to here, and the angle from the tip of the spine here to this new point would be different. For example, this kite has a, uh, it's pretty similar, it's, it's pretty similar. Let's try another one here. This is, yeah, this is a little wider. So this, the distance between these points here and the spine, this is equal on each side, of course. That's another choice you have to make and, and uh, a design element that you're able to uh, control. Now, so now that we have the basic areas that you can control. How do you go about drawing and creating the template to begin with? Well, I use a piece of cardboard. Pretty easy to get. Uh, this is a postal box that's recycled. But any uh, mat board or poster board or any heavy paper or cardboard that's not too thick is good and what I do to start with I just draw a spine line along an area of the uh, template material that I want to use and then I draw perpendicular to this line my wingtip line and if I'm going to use a 24 inch uh, spine well, it doesn't really matter, on, I mean, a uh, 24-inch bow, it doesn't really matter about that uh, at this point. But I, I find a point along here, and I use a triangle or I use a square. Uh, and I create a perpendicular line that uh, to the spine, and that becomes my spine line, my... Uh, wingtip line. And from that I think we'll just draw it. With the you, if you have a T-square and a uh, triangle, that's really the easiest to use, but I'm not sure how many people have that, so I decided not to use it here in this video. So now we have a wingtip line and we have uh, the spine line. Now the next thing we want to do is determine where the wingtips are actually going to be. Now if I make this about, oh let's see, it'd be 21 inches wide, and that would be, and let's see what this one is here. When you check those ratios, uh, that's 20 inches, okay. So I'll make this 20, 20 inches. So I put a mark on my wingtip line at 10 inches on each side of my spine line. Now, I 
use my handy dandy uh, photo corners and attach them right to the wingtip point. So the wingtip point here is uh, going to position the bow itself. I'm going to use the actual bow. things that's interesting. Now the, this is a 24 inch piece of uh, carbon fiber 0.05 inches in diameter. This is a piece that's 0 0.06 inches in diameter. Stiffer. But they each have the same curve when they're bent in the same, uh, same uh, distance like this. So I usually use a 0.05 piece of carbon because it's a little bit easier to uh, bend and work with for me than the 06. But either one will work or whatever size you're using. But those are the two sizes that are most often used for fighter kites that uh, fly in winds that are roughly between uh, 3 and 14 miles an hour, somewhere in that range. Now the bow is here, so I'm going to draw that bow right here. I'm going to hold it down so I don't, I don't want to distort the shape of it. I hold it down and draw it on both sides. This gives me a real good idea of where this bow will end up in the finished kite. It's not always exact because uh, the carbon fiber rods themselves are slightly different in their stiffness one to the other but uh, there got the bow now if we wanted to make a kite that had a straight leading edge we would simply put a straight edge I use my uh, metal ruler right at the wingtip point and then move it so that it followed the edge of the bow and then over to the wing uh, over to the spine line like about like this now this will give us a kite where the leading edge is straight all the way to the nose that's not the kind of kite we're going to make but that's how you would go about it. And then right about in here, this is about six inches, five, six inches, you would make a tab here that uh, would be the flap you fold over uh, over on top of the bow. That would be how you'd go about that. So it's quite simple. And then the, then what Many fighter kites are almost square, and this is about ten and a quarter inches or so from the tip of the spine where the line, the straight line here, meets it. And if I were to make it about ten and a half or somewhere between ten and a half and twelve inches long, here I'd go off off my template. I have to glue another piece on. But uh, that would give me the, the trailing edge of this particular mm -hmm. kite. And it would look about like that. 